The beautiful rugged terrain surrounding Asheville, North Carolina is one of the area's biggest draws. But for pilots, it makes for low altitude navigation so challenging that the military actually uses the airspace as a stand-in for peaks and valleys of Afghanistan when performing maneuvers. And if it's demanding for pilots, it's also challenging for air traffic controllers. Mountains have a bad habit of blocking radar. We'd, we'd still be able to see that. The terrain's always been a big challenge here. It's uh, varying terrain. We go, we start down somewhere around 2,200 feet and we go up as high as about 7,200 feet in various areas. That geography led to surveillance blind spots, which meant that in order to keep the airspace safe, controllers had to sometimes block off wide corridors of airspace until the aircraft were close enough to see on radar. In the summer of 2018, the FAA installed an upgrade to the STARS automation system called Fusion. Fusion brings a wealth of radar and other surveillance information, including ADSB, to controllers' screens. And now, instead of seeing aircraft cross our boundary at uh, seven or 8,000 feet, we can see them uh, as low as 5,500 feet. Combination of Fusion, ADSB, giving us better visibility all around the airspace has given us a much better advantage and ability to see aircraft at lower altitudes. Aircraft can go direct, uh, much more efficient operation, uh, less of blocking airspace where we used to not see aircraft. Now we can actually pick them up and uh, protect them from terrain and other aircraft. Uh, it saves time, which saves money. The upgrade also made a big difference in the daily lives of the controllers who keep things safe for commercial, GA, and an increasing amount of BizJet traffic into Asheville Regional Airport. We had flight check come through in order to certify our ADSB functions, and they told us as they were coming through that Asheville was the biggest improvement in radar coverage that they had seen throughout the entire NAS. It's really a, a good feel-good story for next gen where um, you take a facility of Asheville and we're using equipment that every larger facility in the NASA is now using.